Hello everyone, I am Jonathan, otherwise known as Senor Smoke, here at Curto's in Westchester County. This is the home of all things smoked, seared, and quite tasty when it comes to outdoor cooking, hell yeah. Um, today's video post on this 90 degree, infernally hot September day, Indian summer 2017. Today's video post, I'm going to report upon a, uh, about a discovery that I made, a discovery made out of necessity, and that is the concept of fire griddling, fire griddling on the Alfresco 42. Um, this was a discovery, again, made out of necessity because what happened is the other night my wife wanted to make hamburgers and uh, we had just come home from somewhere and I said, let's go do it on the Kamado Joe. Now, the one problem with the Kamado Joe is that I still have a bit of a problem getting it to start up in a expedient fashion. So after about 15 minutes plus of me blowing on the coals, trying to get things going, wifey said, listen, the kids have to eat. Let's get this party started here. So I said, all right, we're going to kill the Kamado Joe, but I'm definitely cooking the burgers with a live fire. We're using the lump part with charcoal and some wood. So what is the next best thing to do? So I said, I'm going to go use the alfresco. I'm going to use a solid fuel insert. But here was the conundrum. We're making hamburgers. And hamburgers, as I did, I made a video post about a year ago, based upon a New York Times article, the best way to make a hamburger is to griddle it. The reason being is that when you grill a hamburger, the drippings, those precious drippings, go down where? They go through the grates and into your fire. Whereas with a griddle, okay, the griddle, the juices, the fat, etc., acts as a condiment to flavor the burger. So I have started griddling, and I use a griddle on my DCS. I have a griddle for the alfresco, but I wanted to add, I didn't want to cook with gas. I wanted to cook with a live fire, and that's where the solid fuel insert comes in. So what I did was I improvised. I took the solid fuel insert, and I did not use the alfresco griddle, which is right here, okay? Did not do that because, as you can see, the alfresco griddle would completely cover the solid fuel box, thus you would get very, very limited smoke, which is what I wanted to hit these burgers with. So, what I did, Kamado Joe, they have half moon shields, half moon cooking grates, okay? And they have a half moon griddle. It's basically a semicircle, okay? And what I was able to do is I took that cast iron griddle and I put it on top of the solid fuel insert and it covered half of it. So I did a test actually. So half of the solid fuel insert is griddled, all right? It's a Kamado Joe griddle. The other half, widthwise, was just a normal grate. So we took four or five hamburgers on one side on the griddle, four or five on the solid fuel insert with direct exposure to the fire. And I used Kamado Joe lump hard with charcoal. It's what I always use. And then we added some oak some oak wood in there, oak wood chunks and chips. And I can tell you right now, the results were absolutely stunning. This is, these are some of the best hamburgers we ever made. 80-20 blend. Uh, my wife has some secret recipe. I think there was some Worcestershire sauce in there, other stuff. If I disclosed it on camera, she'd probably shoot me. Um, but the burgers, both of them, the griddle and the burgers exposed directly to the fire, were both juicy and extremely tasty but juicier with the griddle. So, and, and by the way, juicy on the inside and an absolutely beautiful crust on the outside. So it's like when I make my really, really, you know, my fantastic steaks, you've got that beautiful bark on the outside that you bite through, the caramelization and the inside, it's that sanguine, just luscious, you know, carnivore's delight. And the hamburgers kind of shared that quality bit of a crust on the outside, bite in, and it was just absolutely um, out of control. How does that sound? Out of control. Uh, so for me, fire griddling is definitely the way to cook a hamburger. Again, I'm not, I, I, at this point, I'm using my gas burners on this alfresco probably 25% of the time. I'm always hitting the solid fuel insert. My wish is that alfresco will actually make a double-sized solid fuel insert. We'll see if they do that. But you're making your hamburgers, dudes, you gotta, you gotta, dudes and dudes is, you have to use 
you have to use a griddle. It just, it just takes the flavor out into a whole nother stratosphere and the moisture content, it's absolutely out of control. Add now that charcoal taste, and not that nasty briquette with borax and all those other additives and fillers in it. We're talking lump part with charcoal, hit it with a little bit of wood chunk in there as well, or chips, and you're playing on a whole, whole another level. So again, the Alfresco proves that it is the most versatile grill out there. Name me another premium grill, and folks, I sell most of them, but name me another, another premium grill that tonight you can go back, grill or sear what you want and do it over a live fire and not have to spend $20,000. Think about that one. So fire griddling, that's my new thing. I'm gonna try it with some other foods. Hey, what about fajitas? Carne asada, do a little Mexican steak action over there. There are other food types as well that are tailor-made for a little fire griddling action, and it will be done on the Alfresco. Folks, if there are any, any uh, comments, questions, please hit me up, jonathanacurtos.com, or better yet, come visit the showroom. We are happy to serve. Thank you.